Hello again. Yes, still in the classroom. I'm getting through this filming. Um, we are on lesson for Bible 142, and today we're going to talk about one of my very favorite people in the Bible, Paul, and talking about him and his ministry. So, kind of exciting. I um, want you to make sure you have handy page 207, 208, just like the one from last time. I didn't say yesterday because maybe you're doing these uh, back to back like I am filming. Um, we're going to be doing some more map work and then on the other you have a fun little crossword puzzle to do, okay? So we'll go over that after, but first let's listen um, in about Paul. All right, and this is from the book of Acts. This is chapter 27 verses 1 all the way through chapter 28 verse 6, okay? So this is kind of remember a summary about um, those verses found in the Bible. All right, Paul, as a Roman prisoner, so right now he's in prison, had been on a ship to Rome for a long time. The ship had left Caesarea, sailed around the island of Cyprus, and then around to Fair Havens on the island of Crete. From Crete, the ship sailed into the Mediterranean Sea. As it sailed toward Italy, the ship was caught in a strong storm. Paul had warned those in charge not to leave Crete, but they had ignored his warnings. Now that the ship was out of control, the wind carried them to the island of Cotta, where they tried to reinforce the ship. They tried to make it a little stronger and a little more um, ready for the sea. After leaving Cotta, they sailed out into the deep water where they faced another storm. They were tossed by the storm and could not find their directions because they could not see the stars. So remember back then they didn't have GPS or different things like you would on a boat today. They um, traveled by stars by the night sky. They thought that there was no hope. Far from land and without food, everybody was frightened. They were afraid. Then Paul spoke up. Then Paul spoke up again. Excuse me. He told them that the angel of God had told him not to fear. Don't be afraid. God said that Paul was to stand trial before Caesar, so they should not worry. God would get them to Rome. So he's he's um, encouraging them not to be afraid. They went on, driven by the big storm. Soon the ship was in trouble again with strong winds. The storm caused the ship to run aground on a reef. The bow, the bow got stuck and the ship couldn't move. Meanwhile, the waves pounded the stern until it began to break apart. The soldiers wanted to kill the prisoners so that they would not escape. But the centurion who was in charge told everyone to try to get ashore. Coming to land, they discovered they were on, the, on an island called Malta. The natives of the island were kind to the 276 shipped recommend. So this was a big boat carrying a lot of people. They built a fire to keep the travelers warm. As Paul laid the sticks he had gathered on the fire, a viper, a kind of snake, came out of the fire and grabbed Paul's hand. When the natives saw the snake on Paul's hand, their superstitious superstitions led them to believe that he must be a murderer and that he would now die. Paul shook the snake off, but not before it bit him. The natives expected Paul to die immediately. Instead, they saw that he was fine and now thought that he must be a god. The people on the island treated their visitors very well. Paul and the others were on the island for three months. Again, they don't have cell phones, they don't have all of those technologies and things that we have today, so it took a while um, for things to kind of move and happen um, a lot longer than it does nowadays. All right, um, I lost my spot. Hmm. Let's see, so they were on for three months, where is that? Uh, sorry guys. Oh, so they were on the island for three months until after winter when another ship left. 
This is just one of the incidents that happened when Paul was being taken to Rome. So a lot of things were happening as he was getting taken to Rome um, to stand trial. Many of Paul's journeys and the things that happened to him are written down in the Bible in the book of Acts. When Paul got to Rome, he was kept under guard for over two years. Some of um, some of books, some books of the New Testament are letters that Paul wrote from this prison. Sometime later, he wrote his last letter. It was to Timothy, his son in the faith. He testified that he was ready to die, knowing that he had fought a good fight, meaning he had lived life well. He had lived it faithfully to his calling, to his ministry for, uh, for Christ. All right, so why was Paul on a ship headed to Rome? Remember, he's a prisoner and he's going there to stand trial to stay in prison there because um, he was um, a Roman prisoner. All right, what was Paul's trip to Rome like? Was it just nice and easy going and they got there really quick? No, they were met with many, many different storms and stuff along the way and then shipwrecked, right? And, oh yeah, he got bit by a viper too, a snake. So, kind of crazy. He, he had quite the life, Paul did, from start to end. What sea was the ship, ship traveling across? The Mediterranean Sea. And you can see that on your map, and we'll go over that in just a minute. And what island did they shipwreck on? That was Malta, right? How long did Paul stay there? He stayed there for three months, and on that island, he was bit by that snake, right? Name some books of the New Testament that were letters written by the Apostle Paul. And so Romans all the way through Philemon, right, are some of the letters, some of the things written by Paul. Who led Paul in his conversion, his ministry journeys, and his trial in Rome? God. God was with him every step of the way, right? Okay, and even though Paul ended up in prison for telling others about the gospel, do you think he was glad he helped others know how to have eternal life? Do you think he was proud of the life that he led? Yeah, remember um, in his last book, he says he's ready to die because he has fought the good fight. He has finished the race well. He, um, he knew he had done what God had asked him to do. All right, let's look at this page, page 207, 208. Here we have our map. We're going to do some map work. The Look at the key here, and it has Paul's voyage to Rome, his journey from Rome, all right? So you can see all the way, finally, to Rome. So here, directions. Number one, again, you'll need color pencil, crayon, marker. Um, just be careful if you do decide to use marker. Number one, put a blue X, excuse me, on Caesarea where Paul's journey began, right? You'll find that over on this side of your map. Put a blue X where his journey began. Color orange, the island of Cyprus, which Paul's ship sailed around. So find the island. Remember, we know what an island is. It's a body of land surrounded by water, right? Put... Um, Excuse me, color it orange, Cyprus. Color green, number three, the island of Crete, which Paul told the sailors not to leave, okay? He had encouraged them, hey, God's telling me we shouldn't leave this island right now, but did they listen to Paul? No, they didn't, they ignored him, and what happened? They, they um, were faced with many storms, right? And shipwrecked, and um, took them a whole lot longer. Uh, to get finally to Rome. All right, uh, number four, circle Fair Havens and, and Cotta, which uh, with brown. Okay, so circle those two areas brown. Number five, draw a purple box around the island of Malta where the ship was wrecked. Draw a purple box around that island where the ship was wrecked where they stayed for how many months? Do you remember? Three months, yeah. Put a red X on the island where Paul was bitten by a viper. Where is that? That might be one that you've already done. It might be an island you've already done to. 
done something with. Remember, that was um, where he was shipwrecked. All right, number seven, color yellow, the country where Paul was going. Where was he eventually going? Where was he going to be held a prisoner or was held prisoner um, once they finally got there? All right, number eight, draw a red star on the city where Paul was in prison. Okay, trace Paul's journey from uh, Caesarea to Rome with your favorite color. Show me your favorite color. Trace along that red dotted line there, that whole journey. All right, when you are done with that, turn it over. Um, do this crossword. Complete the puzzle using words from the word bank. Your Bible may help you. There's lots of verses that you can pull from. Here's your word bank down at the bottom. Remember, if you are doing a cross, if you're gonna start here, remember each of these answers are going to go across. So find number three. Here's, here's the number three. Let me get a little closer. Here's the number three here. So this answer, this answer is gonna go across. Make sure you are doing them in the right directions and that'll help you. So then ones that you do down, make sure those answers are only going down on the corresponding numbers. All right, that is all. I love you guys and I will see you later. Take care, bye.